in today's Christmas video we're going to be painting some simple mittens I don't know what it is about painting mittens but it just makes me get into this Christmas spirit there's always just something so wintry and lovely and warm and cozy about a pair of mittens so I'm going to be showing you step by step how I painted these mittens I'll show you how I sketched them out which is really simple to do I'm going to be breaking this down into really simple shapes and also this is going to be a really easy one for beginners so do grab those paints paint along with me honestly you can do this if I can do it as a self-taught watercolor artist you can definitely do this grab those paints and let's get started I'll show you how to draw the mittens now and this is really simple to do so all you need to do is draw a mountain shape so we're going to draw a sausage shape coming out like that and it's as simple as that we'll fix that up in a minute so I'll show you the other one so I think I'm going to draw it up here a little bit just so it's a bit more visually interesting. So we're going to do a mountain shape and then we're going to draw a sausage shape coming out the side. To draw the bottom of the glove you've got two choices so I'm just showing you on a scrap piece of paper here. You could do it completely straight like this but make sure that you curve this a tiny bit so it looks a bit more rounded and then basically just pop in that shape there so it looks a bit like an egg doesn't it or you can do a nice fluffy glove so excuse my drawings for now they are a little bit quick but you can do a fluffy glove so you can make it really sort of scalloped and a bit fluffy like that so I'm going to make mine fluffy so I'm just moving my pencil up and down to make this sort of wavy design so it looks like fluff and then we'll do the same with the next glove. So I'm just making like little mountain shapes, I guess. Looks like a fluffy cloud. Okay, with this now, because I've drawn in the fluff, I'm just going to fix up the thumb. And what you want to do is make this nice and curved, this end here. So I'm going to make this bit a bit more curved and then what I'll do is I'll just erase that there so you could draw the whole glove without using these guidelines or without drawing it like how I've done here it's completely up to you but I just thought I would show you an easy way of drawing a glove what I'm going to do is I'm going to join these two gloves together with some string as well so I'm just going to curve my string around and join them like that. For this tutorial I'm going to be using Windsor Red Deep. This is a Windsor & Newton professional colour and it's a colour that I've had for ages but I haven't used it. It's probably because the red is so deep. So I'll show you the colour of it. Excuse these two. These are two different other reds I was trying out. But look how vibrant and dark and Christmassy that is. So to make a darker colour for the shadows I've just added a tiny bit of sap green into the red and because those two colours are opposites on the colour wheel it helps to darken the red up so we've got more of a neutral red which makes a darker colour. So just add the tiniest bit of green otherwise if you add too much green it turns it more of a browny green colour and you want this colour to be quite thick as well so there's not too much water added to this. I'm going to start off with a layer of my red so this red is really vibrant because it's a professional colour. The colours on this are more vibrant and it's very pigmented so I've added a bit of water to this. So I'm just using my size 10 brush. This is a silver black velvet pointed round brush. And I'm just painting that red all over the glove. So I'm going to work on one glove at a time because I want to do some of the shadows wet into wet. So I'm going to work on this while it's wet. So I'm just carefully painting around that bottom bit of the glove. And you want to make sure that you've got quite, not quite a lot of water in this, but you want to make sure that this paint is nice and wet anyway, so you can work on this uh, wet into wet. And Okay, with my smaller brush now, I'm going to take that darker colour that we got from mixing the red and the green together. I'm just going to drop in a few shadows on the outer edges. 
So a few shadows on the outer edges. This is just going to give the glove a bit of dimension. And it's going to just make it look more of a more of a rounded thing rather than just a flat blob on a page. And I'm just going to add a bit of shadow to the bottom here as well. So because this glove is probably sat in fluff <laughs> at the bottom, it's probably a bit more dark. Put a bit more here. Bit here, just the edge. And then just fixing up the edge of this with a darker colour. So I'll allow that to dry now while I work on the next glove. I'm just going to paint the whole of the glove in the red. How are you sorted for Christmas anyway? Have you got any plans for Christmas? Are you choosing to stay at home and cook? Or are you have a family over? Are you going out for food? Uh, what are your plans? Are you inviting family over to spend the day with you? Or are you having a nice and peaceful day? Or are you going anywhere? Let me know in the comments box below. I love hearing from you. My plans for this year are the same as always because I am really traditional. I love to stay at home and watch the kids opening all their presents at home. My nan stays with us Christmas Eve, so she's on her own at the moment. So she comes to stay with us and she loves it. And she stays over on Christmas Eve and then spends the whole of Christmas Day with us. We go out for Christmas dinner and um, then in the evening then we play some games, we have a, cup, a nice cup of tea, watch some Christmas films together. While that's wet now I'm going to take my darker colour and I'm going to start dropping that in. You want to make sure you don't have too much water on your brush. If you add too much water and there's too much water on your brush then that'll start creating cauliflowers or blooms. So you'll get back runs and that's happening here a little bit, I don't know if you can see and that happens when the paint dries at uneven levels. So if you put wet paint into already drying paint or the paint is a bit wetter than the first layer then that's how you get those um, back runs then. So I'm just dabbing my brush on a cloth just to take off some of the moisture so I don't add too much moisture to the paper. While I'm allowing that to dry I'm going to take my rigger brush that I got from Jackson's Art and you'll find that in my Jackson's Art haul so I'll link that video down below for you. I'm going to use the darker colour now so this is the dark red that I'm using and I'm just going to paint in this string that holds the gloves together. So what I love about these rigger brushes is you can get really fine lines like this and it keeps the lines lovely and straight as well and all one sort of length, or one sort of width. So just painting that on. Make sure that it looks like your string is actually being attached underneath the gloves as well. Allow that to dry and then we'll work on the bottom parts of the gloves then. For the shadows at the bottom area of the glove, I'm going to leave that area nice and light. But because it's white, I do want to add a bit of a shadow and I wanted to keep it nice and vibrant. So I thought I would use some very diluted dioxazine violet. Because we're going to be painting a white subject or a white object, so this is going to be the fluffy part of the glove, we can still paint colour onto that and it will still look white but we do want to keep this lovely and light so look how diluted that is. It doesn't mean there's going to be lots of water on my paintbrush. I am actually going to swipe my brush on the side of my palette like that to get out some of the moisture. So there's still going to be the same amount of moisture in my brush that I used on the, the glove there but it just means it's really diluted the paint with the water there. I'm going to use two brushes for this and you can do this two different ways. So you could wet this area first and then drop the paint in. But what I want to do is because I don't want to dilute the paint any further and I want to control the paint more. I'm going to actually paint my colour with this smaller brush. And then using a damp brush and this has got water in it but not too much. I'm going to use this to blend out the edge so we get soft edges. So I'm going to start off by painting that light colour on the outside edge. Just imagine that the light is hitting the glove from the top. I want the top to be the lightest area so I'm just going to paint that colour on the bottom as well. So just being really careful around those scalloped edges. 
and of course if you've painted the these edges more straight then you won't have to worry about that and then using my damp brush I'm just going to run my brush along the edge of that line and what happens is that encourages the paint to flow out into the water and you're going to get lovely soft edges. Add in slightly thicker dark design violet now so this has got less water mixed into it. I'm just going to run that along that edge there to darken that up just to add a bit more dimension and just running that colour along the bottom as well just in a small area so I'm not bringing that dark colour up too far. We're getting a shadow on the edge here maybe a little bit of a shadow at the top So just painting that colour on the bottom. You can also paint it on the edge as well because of course we're not painting a background so we do need that edge to stand out. And I want to cover my pencil marks as well. And then taking a damp brush I'm just going to run my damp brush along the edge. Just to coax that water up a little bit and make it soft. And then taking some thicker dioxazine violet. And this water on the paper is still quite wet so that's why it looks like it's bleeding out quite far. So if you don't want it to bleed out too far and you want it to be a bit darker, then wait for the water to sink into the water, uh, the paper a little bit. Hello Sky. Sky's my little dog and she's just come to say hello to me. <laughs> so I'm just going to run it down that bottom edge there. I'm going to allow this bottom bit to dry now and then what we're going to do is we're going to take the gouache or your white pen and I'll give you some pen recommendations uh, or your metallic paint or whatever you want to use to decorate your gloves we're going to take that on top of the dry paint I'm going to use my gouache now so I've added a little bit of water to this but it's not very watery because I do want it to be very opaque uh, it just means that it won't sink into the paper and it'll be very bright white so I've just added a tiny bit and then I'm using my size 2 brush and you can do any patterns you want on these gloves you could do simple dots you could use splatters if you want to, if you want to protect your background and then do splatters. You can do wavy lines, frills, it is completely up to you. But what I thought I would do is just some simple snowflakes. To paint a simple snowflake, all you need to do is just do like a crisscross design. So an X and then a line down the middle and a line across. I'm just going to paint these snowflakes going across the glove and they don't have to be perfect because of course this is a mitten and these patterns might not be completely perfect. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring one of those snowflakes off the edge of the glove as well just to make it look a bit more like a rounded shape and also this side as well so just a little snowflake coming off the edge like that. And then I'm also going to add some zigzags because when I think of mittens I always think of zigzags, I don't know why. It's just a very Christmassy pattern isn't it, or a very winter pattern to put the zigzags on things. So I'm not going to paint the thumb in, so I'm just working from the edge of the thumb and just following the zigzags on top. So I'm using the same pattern along. Actually let's put in three little zigzags. Three zigzags. And then I, I wish I'd worked on this one now because now I'm going to stick my hand in this. So if you're right handed, I do suggest working on the left glove first and don't do what I did. I'm actually going to have to let that dry now. Also bear in mind that when gouache dries it becomes lighter and because I've dried this off now, visibly it's lighter now. So that means uh, the gouache kind of sinks into the paper a bit. So <clears throat> if you want it really bright white, try not to add too much water to it. So I'm going to paint this one now, so the same thing again. And what I'm going to do is try to get this glove's pattern the same as this one. So, which can be a bit tricky sometimes. We'll start off with a snowflake on the edge. And then just working my way across. If you can hear any voices in the background... It's my teenage sons. They've just been sent home from school because they had a water pipe leak in their school.
go and then the zigzags as well so I'm just trying to mimic this glove and of course this glove is on a bit of an angle as well so just bear that in mind if you want to turn the paper around feel free to do that I'm actually painting at a really awkward angle right now and that's only because I'm filming And there you have it, that's the gloves finished now. So if you wanted to add some sparkle to these, any metallic paints, that is completely up to you. I hope you have fun painting these mittens. If you do give these a go, please comment in the comments box below. I love to hear that you're actually painting along with me. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Do you like this sort of thing? And have you got any suggestions for me? Please put them in the comments box below because I do run out of ideas and I love to hear your suggestions. It gives me so much motivation and I get so excited making a list of all your suggestions as well. Have a lovely rest of your day. Happy painting. Get those paints out. I'm promising you can do this and I'll see you soon. Bye.